Does anybody know what this is? I guess you got to be over 40 to know what a hand plane is. It's a copy of a Stanley number two, number three. Before electricity was commonplace, construction sites didn't have a lot of noise. Probably the noisiest thing was a hammer. Somebody sharpening the saws. I read that in one of my old books. Anyhow, this is a hand plane and you use it to make lots of spaghetti. What you use it for, and you always lay it down on the side, not to expose the blade to a rough edge. What you use it for is planing a piece of wood that doesn't meet another piece of wood. And I took a board out of my collection of junk and I laid it on the floor and there was a huge gap. I could have stuck my finger in there. So what I did was I took a pencil and I wrapped it with electric tape just a little ways from the end until it just met the biggest gap. I sharpened the lead end of it graphite. And then I took it and I drew a line all the way across. And I took the hand plane put this against the hard surface and I pushed the hand plane along the board right till the pencil line. Oops, going backwards. And out comes the spaghetti. And if you're a real good carpenter, you take one of the pieces of spaghetti and you lay it over your shoulder, like that. Long, long piece, and that shows that you've accomplished being able to slice down a piece of wood to match the contour of whatever you're trying to match. And look at that. I just took a bit off of there, now it doesn't meet, but the gap here between the flooring and the board is thinner. Look at that. Barely slide a piece of wood underneath. I could get it better, but it doesn't matter. The alternative is I could have put a core around against it, which I still might. What happened was when I took my board down, a 10 foot board, three and a half meter board. I also lowered this piece against the floor, the step rather. Now, whoops, sticky, sticky. Now I take a piece of floor tile. Look at that. Quarter round is even. So you're not on a, can't put a rough edge of floor tile like that. It'll just peel up. So I had to put a quarter round. Here. So I'm going to space the face 2 by with this pine board. And I'm going to put a quarter round on top of it. And the quarter round, just like this, I raised it here. I stuck some glue underneath. I just lifted up this quarter round, which was meant to ease the edge for the carpet. See, it's still loose. I raised the quarter round so it goes right to the edge of the tile. And the glue will dry and maybe I'll put some more nails in. Same thing here. And when I plane this bottom down, it happened to be exact right height to just come to the edge of the tile. I'm going to put it, hang it over the edge, and I'm going to put a tile up the face. So that... The tile comes up just under the face of that quarter round. Pretty cool, huh? Yep, Mr. C.W. thinks just a matter of rebuilding a simple step. Yeah, right. I also have a confession to make. April Fools! I found it in the dumpster. And I stuck under the step. Am I bad? Or what? <laughs> and you believed it. They were also pretty lousy, as a matter of fact. I don't know where they came from, but blech. I ate a couple of them. They were pretty crappy. I'll go back to my mustard on my banana. So, I've got some adhesive here. This little quart jar, one U.S. quart, 946 milliliters, was $27. I've already used up almost half of it. Nice color for Mrs. C.W.'s Corvair. 
She won't put ghost flames, but she said she'd put ghost tulips underneath flowers. Anyways, I've just done one little portion. I've used up almost half of it. I've still got to go the other way, the back, and this kicker. So I should have bought a gallon. I can't imagine it's $27 for a quart. They must have charged me for a gallon or something. So this is what I'm doing. Making spaghetti. And it's bloody cold. It was 25 degrees last night. It's 22 minus 7 Celsius. You should have heard the turbo weasel and the SF sub cranking up. Rattle, 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 rattle. I'm making my plans for the summer. I'm going to Kalamazoo in July. I'm going to stop at my friend's Corvair junkyard. And he's got my ramp side and we'll see if we can get it going and drive it somewhere and take it home. We'll see. I talked to him for almost two hours last night. Yeah, kick, 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 kick. I got a hammer drill for the closet as well. Oh, yeah. All right, that's what I'm doing. See, I've got a pencil line on this piece right there. Pencil line, I'm going to clean that. See the amount of wood I got to take off? Want to watch me clean it? 34 minutes of memory. There, that piece of wood, and that's how it works. I should really be up against something hard here. Take a four foot level, put it against the wall. That's a very beautiful level. You can see that, I just glanced at the screen. It's a station of navigation. So he followed him back to Libya to find his father who had been kidnapped from Egypt. And he found a guy in a prison cell with a picture of his father, but the guy had been in solitary confinement for so long he had lost his memory. He didn't know who he was, where he was, but he had a picture of this guy's father, and it's pretty sad. What goes on in these crazy countries? Friggin' not. I think I'm ready to go have some matzah and mustard. And some peanuts and almonds. And some celery I found in the dumpster. I found half a stalk of celery. Look there, right?
that. Taking her down. Can't do that with a saw. You could do it with a belt sander, but it makes just a huge mess of dust. There's the line, right in the middle. Just keep on planing away with this. Master mechanic hand plane from True Value Hardware. Certain kinds of hand tools is exactly what they need. Probably made in China. It used to be made in the USA. Stanley Works, New Britain, Connecticut. I would have thought about it, I would have planned the other side of the board. I didn't think about that. I don't do this very often. How much can you watch of this? I'm doing it for an hour or three. It's already 3.30 in the afternoon. I've been working at this since probably noon. Getting there. I've got to go eat something. I'll tune you in. Mustard on a banana. I do some mustard on an orange. This stuff has to tack for 60, 45 to 60 minutes. It has to flash, get the volatile organic compounds to evaporate. Beautiful. What a mess.